Well, besides Gasparilla festivities underway, there's also a, a rather huge event, the NHL All-Star Game. It's all coming together this weekend. Fox 13's Marissa Lynn joins us now to explain how the two events are joining forces. What a weekend, Marissa. Yeah, it's all about the Pucks and Pirates this weekend in Tampa Bay. Now, Jose Gaspar, he's going to kind of have a couple of extra passengers on his ship when the Pirates invade Tampa Bay tomorrow. We all know that Pirates love their gold, but are they going to like a little bit of silver on their ship tomorrow? You know, as everybody knows, water safety is very important. Ahoy, matey! It's Lord Stanley as you've never seen it before. And for our 125-year-old trophy, we got to make sure it's secure. Keeper of the Cup. Philip Pritchard checks to see if the life jacket fits. That's because Saturday, the Stanley Cup meets the Pirates of Gasparilla. Lord Stanley will invade Tampa Bay. You know what? I, Lord Stanley has been on a lot of trips. It's been a lot of places around the world, but it's going to visit its first pirate ship tomorrow. After an appearance on Clearwater Beach, Pritchard and the Stanley Cup will fly into Tampa Bay as the Pirates prepare to invade the city. Jose Gaspar will be waiting. We're going to take a helicopter from the beach right to where the ship launches. Then it's going to come into land for the key ceremony and then straight to pregame. There's no better way to uh, come into Tampa Bay than by water. The cannons will be firing and Pritchard will keep a watchful eye on those pirates lurking around hockey's biggest treasure. It's funny, we've spoken to some of the pirates. They're uh, big hockey fans. They get what it represents. They get the tradition in that. Lord Stanley will be guarded and secured should the pirates get a little salty. The cup can't walk the plank. I, it's, I've never seen it walk before, so I don't have any worries there. It's been all around the world to the White House, and it was hoisted in our backyard years ago. But Saturday, the Stanley Cup set sail with Jose Gaspar and his crew of buccaneers with a life jacket and maybe a bit of a disguise, too. Does he get an eye patch? I'm not sure. <laughs> We'll find, we'll find a spot for it. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the first time that the Stanley Cup is going to be hanging out on a pirate ship, but it's not the first time it's ever been on the water. So Mark and Kelly, can you guess who this is with the Stanley Cup? Hints, they're on the Detroit River. Any guesses? Oh, I, is, it our, um, is it our fearless leader of the Tampa Bay Lightning, perhaps? When he played? It is. It is Lightning General Manager Steve Iserman after he won the uh, Stanley Cup with the Red Wings in 1998. So thanks to the Hockey Hall of Fame for sharing that video, that picture with us, of course. Now, the Stanley Cup has logged more than a million miles of travel over the last 10 NHL seasons. So that is a lot of frequent flyer miles, guys. And it's going to be out and about all weekend long here in Tampa Bay. For a list of where and when you can see it, you can go to our website, fox13news.com. That's awesome. I just took a wild guess because she said Detroit. No, and I knew it. he played it But you know, Detroit. Marissa, now yeah, what we've got to do hint. is we, Maybe we need that to... was too much of a hint. I know, right? No, so. he needs to win the cup. You saw the red all over that one. What we need to do is recreate that with Iserman on it with a blue Tampa Bay Lightning jet ski and put yes. them side by side in the yeah. Hall of Fame and that'll be perfect. Maybe one day. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> we hope so. Have fun. Yeah. Thank you so much, Marissa.